Here we are in my workshop. I'll be making a reproduction harpsichord for Mount Vernon. To some degree, uh, making a reproduction that uh, is accurate and, and looks like the original work um, requires some technologies that are actually from the period. And that's been one of the real joys of doing this kind of uh, project. Uh, this is very uh, educational and eye-opening about how they achieved sometimes pretty remarkable results in the 18th century. Uh, nowhere is this more um, obvious, uh, easy to, uh, to see, and really hard to figure out, is with the jacks, the heart of the harpsichord. This is the little piece of mechanical um, works that does the plucking of the uh, string. The Mount Vernon harpsichord has three choirs of strings and each um, and one choir has two sets of jacks so that makes four sets of jacks, 61 jacks in each register that makes 244 jacks required just for this one instrument. Okay, so this is a jack that uh, is a finished jack, and it's like the ones I'm going to be making for the harpsichord. It uh, consists of this pear wood um, jack body, uh, which I've, uh, I'm in the process of making. And then it has a piece of holly uh, wood that is the pivoting tongue that holds the plectrum. The jack that I'm holding here has a quill plectrum, but uh, the Mount Vernon harpsichord actually uses uh, pieces of leather for the plectrum. The shop that I'm working in is a mixture of historic technologies and modern technologies. Uh, much of our work involves rediscovering historical methods of doing things. But our goal is not to reenact period technology. It's to make a result that is uh, identical as far as we can see to the originals that we're copying.